All right, Alex, we are here. It's all about Ted Lasso and of course yourself this evening. You're one of the expert editors on this project. Start by telling me, what does this evening feel like for you? A, and B, talk to me about these 21 Emmy nominations that this comedy series has received. What's going through your mind? Uh, bless up for the Ted heads, because without them, we wouldn't be here. Uh, I, I remember season one, I was just like, I just hope people watch it. And here we are a few years later, and everyone's like, we need more, we need more. So I appreciate it. It's like I, I don't take it for granted, for sure. Uh, but, yeah, getting here, even even uh, I was logging in, watching the live stream, and I told my dog, I was like, I was like, Buffy, if we get some recognition, AJ and I and Mel and Francesca, which was unheard of for me, uh, like, if we all get up there, I'm going to get you a big treat. No, I owe I owe you a treat. So I, I haven't been I haven't been true to my word yet. So I, I gotta go to a pet store and get a big old bone. Alex, if you do not get to that pet store, no. you better. Do you hear me? I know it feels like feels yeah. I gotta make that happen because. <laughs> so listen. So it sounds like it's very safe to say that your initial, maybe perhaps like thoughts or feelings about this series and this project, you never would have imagined like that it would warrant so much success because this is crazy like season three like we're on the brinks of yet another comedy series emmy award win you know in the coming months like what i know i mean it's unlike anything i've seen like i got like i have experience with a lot of comedy and like i got brought into this and like reading the script i wasn't quite sure what this would become I was like oh some of this is sort of heavy but we've kind of I think they've kind of um, sort of made it their own thing I mean we've seen dramedy before but this is like a special kind of comedy drama yeah I think people are like I think people already talked about this but it was like a perfect time for the show to come out and I don't think there's I don't think anyone's tired of it people want more and we just we knew season we knew season three would be kind of um, daunting in a way, but uh, I think we did a, do, a good job. So Alex, <laughs> let's go a little personal. I want you to share some secrets with me, right? In short, look the <laughs> secrets that Alex can share. I don't know. <laughs> On the editing side of things, were there any particular scenes or quotes or happenings that took place on set that were actually, like, for the lack of better words, deleted or edited out that we, the viewers and the fans, could not see that you are able to share with us today? Well, it's so funny because I always hear of that question being asked, but I never... I never feel like I'm in the right place to share that. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. I never think that these scenes are dead. Like, I feel like in some way, shape, or form, they have to be protected. And I don't know. For me, I feel like the project's still happening. So I'm like, oh, yeah, there are a couple of scenes that didn't make it, especially, like, season one. And I have a handful that are just in the back of my mind. But I have no right to talk about them because I feel like they could still live on somehow. Yeah. I love that. I love that. Let's talk about rejections and rejections that you may or may not have faced like over the duration of your career that actually end up resulting into wins. Are there any rejections that you face, any hard no's that you receive that end up like making its way into your wins category of life i'm talking about like my life in editing because there's a lot of there's a lot of people that in like previous projects that they don't really what's good about ted lasso is that people can keep seeing a scene differently constantly it makes someone a real artist if they can approach it hear a different opinion and go Okay, I have this image in my head, but I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna put that here. I'm gonna listen to you, and I'm gonna watch what you did. And together, whether it's me and AJ, whether it's 
like a director, whether it's Jason, I think everyone shares that ability to be like, okay, I respectfully want to see what your opinion is. A lot of times it doesn't happen, but we're going to at least respect each other's like approach. A lot of things happened in previous projects where it was completely like stonewalled and we and then and, and you have to kind of sit with that and think uh you know <laughs> you know you gotta hope that next time that they'll kind of want to play ball but it's not always that way but yeah i mean i've had countless times where we're just on a completely different page like but i don't think we've kind of ever had that it, it's like it, it helps when we as editors at least get to have a conversation about like what what the, you know what what the plan is going forward you know we've had like we've we've been sitting in on um some of the production meetings and we we can kind of you know be on the same page a lot of times you don't get that so that's true, that's true. and is that something that you've experienced working on other projects like you know difficulties with the collaboration aspect of things oh well, yeah i mean sometimes you don't even get that like privilege whereas Ted Lasso like they they sort of clued us in from the start like yeah that. I like that and one thing before I let you go can you give me one word out of the English dictionary that you absolutely live by every day of your life one word that is so unfair how can I how can I do one only word? one word Alex um no rush uh, one word that I live by in my everyday life. Um, I'm gonna go with aspire. Is that is that not good? I love it. no. Alex is good. How about okay, you can give me two words. <laughs> give me two. Um, how about imagine. Yeah, I don't know. What's your favorite word <laughs> every day? the first no one that's ever asked me this um thanks for tossing it back my way i think i i love this oh put me in a hot seat oh this is no fair you know what my one word would be dream yeah i believe in chasing every dream that you have and i think that you fail yourself in life when you give up on your dreams and also relax because you gotta you gotta you can't really achieve anything if you don't chill out because it's it's a lot to like you put a lot of pressure on yourself you gotta you gotta relax you know which especially, leads me to patience especially in editing you have to you're dealing with a lot of a lot of a lot of opinions a lot of people telling you what to do so you gotta be a diplomat and you gotta relax and you have to you gotta imagine. <laughs> I'm like throwing every single word into this, but no, I do think like for me, I, I am, I, I am like maybe my interview skills could be better, but I, I am no, relaxed I on the job. I yeah. <laughs> it was such a pleasure chatting with you. Your interviewing skills are stellar because you're very transparent and you're yourself. And I can always appreciate yeah, that. Right. It was a pleasure chatting yeah. with you, Alice. Thank Congratulations you. Yeah, on everything, and I look forward to interviewing you on the next carpet. Right. Thank you. Thanks.